don't be fooled by those pretty images of the Miami skyline. Today is not a travel video, no, not really. Today we're doing some RV upgrades and renovations. I'm also getting my oil changed, Kia deserves it, and they also have a car wash at the place, so might as well do it too. We're also going to Home Depot for some plywood and to Publix for groceries. And then it is time for RV renovations. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Guys, I'm free in my RV. This video is sponsored by Rat Power Bikes. Yeah, I know, perhaps not the best tool for the job, but it's all I've got. Measure twice, cut once, right? Or vice versa. <laughs> Come look at it, for being me, come, for it being me, it came out pretty good. So this is going to go somewhere up here, we'll see. Well, hello everybody and welcome one more time from Minitini, the travel trailer. And I apologize in advance uh, if you can hear some of the air conditioning noise, but it's uh, really, really hot uh, here in Miami. And no, I don't get homesick, I get camp sick. <laughs> and uh, but not for long we're going camping uh, very soon so you're gonna see that video also very soon but today none of that today I want to talk about this uh, space right here that we are working on remember all the tribulations I had installing that uh, Naxa TV over here uh, well over the course of two years we watched TV once or twice and even when we went down to the Keys, there's no TV in, in some of the Keys, in Marathon or, or even in, in Key Largo. There's no signal. So what we've decided to do, well, what I decided to do was remove that TV. I was working here on something and I realized that there was all this empty space behind uh, the, the backboard uh, where the TV was mounted. So I decided to get rid of all that stuff and I realized I have this big space here where I could uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, install a hanging closet so we can hang some of the clothes. Now, I, as you can, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but up here we have a 12 volt outlet. We have the TV outlet, which we're not gonna use anymore, and, we, and I have a, a, an AC outlet. So my idea, and I, I hope this works out okay, is to have like a shelf up here. Let me hide uh, this uh, 12 volt. This is something I installed, by the way, and I'm gonna keep using. But I, I, I want to install like a shelf up here, so I, this becomes like a charging station, so we, we can charge our... our it's m mainly uh, my camera batteries, but also the cell phone or even, you know, anything that, that we need to charge. And I have 12 volts if I want to charge it using, a, if we are, you know, dry camping without electricity or I have the, the 120 volt. So here's what I've done. I, I bought this big uh, piece of plywood. I'm gonna roll tape here so you can watch it. Uh, I bought this um, plywood and I wanted to get something uh, pretty thick because there's some weight that, that is gonna be applied to it. And then what I did, I cut, I cut it to size and I stained it and the color is not exactly the same but it's close enough for, for, for what I want. So here's what I intend to do. I intend to put this this shelf and I don't know whatever prettier I think this is the pretty say it came out. I'm gonna put it somewhere up here. I'm just gonna leave enough uh, enough room so that I can stick my hand and and grab whatever I have uh, be behind there. And I forgot to bring something. Then I'm I'm gonna hold it with this. Uh, here we go. Like I'm gonna you know put a piece of wood there and another one on, on each side and one on the front and I'll be right back because I forgot um, uh, that the main piece of wood that is gonna make this look almost like a factory install I'll be right back I'll leave this here
Okay, here we go. I salvaged this from the from the TV cabinet that was already here. So what I'm going to do when I secure this, and I don't know exactly how to do this. I've never done any real woodworks, but I think it's going to come out great. I'm just going to put this piece of wood here in the front that is exactly the same color as the rest, the same the same die, and then I'm, I'm going to even have a little lip here. So if I want to leave some stuff, some stuff up there, uh, you know, while we're traveling, it's not gonna fall off. Now for hanging, I bought uh, this uh, contraption right here, and this what it, what it does it goes screwed to this uh, uh, shelf, and I'm gonna measure it of course to, to make sure it's at the center, and then you hang your hangers. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. In theory, you can have uh, 16 uh, garments uh, hanged from here. So now I'm going to proceed to install it and, I, and I'll show you uh, how, what it looks like at the end. Or maybe I'll do a time lapse. I don't know. We'll see. Well, plan B. I didn't account for this. Okay, first mistake, I had to move this a little uh, forward because the holding shelf has to fit back here. So it doesn't matter because this is gonna be like the lip on the other side. So the lip is going to be this high. Now I have to make sure that this camera fits through the hole. That's like the biggest thing I wanna put back there. Right? And then we'll be okay. Okay, we continue with our trial and error here and it turns out that if I'm going to put this camera through that hole, this, this thing is going to be too low and all my shirts are going to just uh, bottle up down here. So I think we, I've, um, I, we figured 31 and a half is going to be like uh, the mark where we're going to put the shelf and my hand kind of still fits. If it's going to fit through the hole and I'll be able to fish my batteries out and all that and be, uh, charge them. So, We'll keep you posted. We're gonna start assembling this thing now. I think I am done. Not bad for a guy with zero uh, woodworking skills. Uh, let me show you what I did. So here we are, and I understand these hangers are probably a little too low. We're gonna try to uh, find some hangers that sit a little higher, maybe with a, with a smaller uh, hook. But then we have up here, uh, this area, which you can barely see but my hand barely fits and I can uh, charge everything with these two outlets here. Pretty good and uh, it also looks like a good spot uh, for smuggling, don't you think? Maybe, maybe not. Anyways, at some point I'm, I'm still hopeful that they will ship me um, a door exactly like this one to put here. So we cover all this stuff up, but for now this is it. Well, hello everybody, guess what arrived? I'm pleasantly surprised and it matches and everything it's it's very cool I, we got our our door that we're gonna put up here it's gonna look great because it's going there now we have no hardware and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the hardware from the old uh, door if I can find a little piece that goes here and uh, I gotta turn the AC back on, guys. <laughs> they said it's supposed to feel like 120 degrees out there. It's like high 90s. This is like a record for my end, even for my end. First of all, if you look closely, the two doors are not exactly the same. Look at here, look at here. You know what, from far away, I think it's close enough. And um, I know there's not a guy hit. Uh, <laughs> I had put this already and then I realized that the handle will go in the same place, but it worked out okay, it's not bad. And it closes nicely. But now, look at this. Oh, but there's a light there in the way. We're not counting on that. 
So the solution we're gonna have to to put a different uh, type of light here uh, at our entrance, something with a lower profile, you know, something that doesn't uh, protrude as much from the wall. So something like that, so we can open our closet. Yes, we now have a hanging closet in our micro mini and the charging the area, charging station up here. I think it looks great. I think we it's better than having that TV that we never watched. Well, this is something I should have done from day one, but better late than never, right? I got me a tire pressure monitoring system. Let's see how it works. I was going to show you how this thing works and, and how to set it up. But it's raining, it doesn't stop raining. Now we're gonna put the batteries in the sensors. Next, we fill up the tires to the desired pressure. A 50 pounds in our case. It was hot out there. Okay, we're supposed to press both buttons. Well, the idea is you start installing the sensors and the monitor starts detecting them one by one. As, I, as we entered the learning mode, uh, then it indicated me which tire it wanted me to, to put first. So first it was front, uh, so first was front left, and as soon as I put this, the as soon as I put the sensor on the on the valve, it beeped, it turned green, and then I was supposed to press up for the next tire and so on and so forth. When the four tires uh, were uh, learned, uh, married, I think is the is the term they use here. I just pressed both uh, arrows again uh, to exit learning mode, and I think that's it. I don't know if you can see it, but we've got what, 49.8. 50.2 so you know everything is ballpark within you know very close to to where it's supposed to be and um now i'm gonna read up on what are the alarms and all that other stuff but in amazon everybody is is, is seem to indicate that this learning process was really hard but no it's really easy it's straightforward and the instructions are really good so don't pay attention to the to the reviews on amazon that complain about that now whether this thing will last uh, 50 years well, we'll see. <laughs> by the way, by the way, not a sponsor. I just uh, got this brand because it's the one that I've heard about most out there, you know, from RVers and and the community and uh, advertising and at the RV show. <laughs> well, one last thing, one one more thing uh, accomplished here today. Okay, let's take a 30 second break from all these RV renovations and let me tell you about our sponsor. Rad Power Bikes is an electric bike manufacturer offering direct to consumer pricing on powerful premium electric bikes. Because they sell directly to you, the consumer, you won't see the large retail markup that would be present if you were buying from a third party or a dealer, ensuring you're always getting a performance e bike at a fraction of the cost. Visit www.radpowerbikes.com or call 1-800-939-0310 to learn more about their models or to place an order. Now offering free shipping on all four models. Readings from Coral Gables, Florida. I'm going to go real quick to the post office and then we will continue with the RV projects. way to the post office to deliver some CDs and stickers but the parking lot was under construction so I had to park like half a block away doesn't matter it's good exercise got this stuff called the museum putty and it's designed to so that things don't fall off with all the bouncing on the road and uh, I want to secure these old speakers that I had laying around in the house uh, which are pretty old but they sound great 
much better than the ones that that came with Minitini. It is almost like plasticin. What am I doing in Four Piers, you might ask? Well, uh, I left uh, Minitini at La Mesa and uh, we're getting some, hopefully a very nice upgrade. But now I'm just gonna have lunch. So I don't know if you remember, but we were here back on December of 2015 when I did my old Florida video. I'll put a link. And we ate at this place which claims to be the original Tiki Bar. It was windy and chilly on that day, but today it is super hot. But hey, they have Goose Island on tap. It is kind of boring being at the bar by myself. I ordered the tropical teriyaki skewers, which are okay, not great. And off I went. Okay, that was pretty good. That place is overpriced, but for what it is, it was nice. It tasted good and a nice beer. Check this out, Marina, right back here. Check out all this fish eating here. Uh, feeding the fish is actually a popular activity here at the marina. There is uh, this gentleman singing for tips, very good too. Uh, it looks like it might rain later. <laughs> well, it is unbelievably hot out there. I was just uh, flying the drone just for a little bit. I didn't fly much because it said something about a class uh, class G airspace warning or whatever. So I flew low and uh, for a short time, but I'm sweating. It's incredible. But the good news is uh, my new water heater is installed. So let's go back to La Mesa. stopped here briefly at the rest area because I want to show you guys uh, something. I'm happy to announce that I'm almost certain that after almost three years our water heater uh, saga has probably ended. Uh, I already hinted at it but of course uh, that's why I was at the dealer. We got a new It's a called a Truma Aquago, it's a German uh, water heater and it uses a technology that is kind of like a hybrid between a tankless but it has like a little tank inside that is uh, called the temperature stabilizer and um, I just tested it and it works just like, like the one at home so I'm confident that we're gonna have a, a nice... Uh, there you go, that's what it looks like inside and um, I wanted to get like the top of the line one but it was hard enough uh, getting this one I've, I've des I decided to get the, the Truma some months ago but it's it's a little bit of a pain because Truma doesn't sell it directly to you you have to go through the dealer and these guys at La Mesa the, the, the first time I called them they were like oh, Truma who? Like they didn't they had no idea about uh, this product or they didn't care to sell it you know how dealers are but anyways I digress uh, I am hopeful that on our next uh, road trip we're gonna take comfortable showers, and that's what's important. Making it little by little, a little more like home. 
all good things come to an end. But before you go, if you liked it, do me a solid and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, remember to subscribe if you haven't and check out my other videos. You can also visit the blog at TravelingRobert.com, join the mailing list and follow me on social media at TravelingRobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. Riding with my RV